Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. You know, I'm going to make this as short, as sweet as possible. But it's just, this fuckery has gotten to the point now where I, I've just got to make a comment. I can't keep nothing else in no more. I, I didn't intend to make no video about Bobby Chris. But I just can't take no more of the fucking foolery. I just can't. And, you know, my friend once wrote a poem about what death brings. Um, this child ain't even dead yet. And I cannot believe that the Browns have been kicked out and cannot come back to the Peachtree Hospice Facility. All of them has been barred, banned, except for the father, Bobby. What kind of foolery is this, black people? I mean, somebody went there and took a picture of Bobby Chris and they sold it, I think for maybe $100,000. She's laying in the condition that she is right now is because somebody wanted her money and started to take money out of her account and put it into her account, his account. Uh, I, I mean, it's just fucking mind boggling. It's fucking mind boggling. Oh, <laughs> but my heart go out to Bobby. Congratulations, though, Bobby. Maybe God has given you a second chance. The ancestors, they have given you a second chance. And I'm not saying that your new daughter is going to replace Bobby. But you know the mistakes you made. And I think you're going to love on this little baby girl twice as hard. Because of uh, you don't never want a child to go through what you went through. And what y'all went through. Because I know you love, I believe you love with me. And I believe the world has got a wrong perception about Mr. Brown. However, Mr. Brown has done enough things where he can hold his own self. He ain't no damn saint. But I'm glad that God has given you a second chance of, um, you know, trying to make it right with your little baby. So congratulations. Sissy, I feel so devastated for you, your only daughter. And I know you was, you can look at your daughter's grandbaby's face and sometimes see your only daughter. But now you won't even have that opportunity anymore. And that's got to hurt like hell. Um, the two females off of your lineage is just gone. And that's just hurtful. And gone before you. So my heart go out to the whole Houston family. It really does. Um, even coming I mean, to Gary and Ray. And Pat, I know damn well y'all had to work in the constructs of that reality show, which probably was a little too soon, but that's just my opinion. But it reminded me of that Jim Carrey movie, <laughs> The Truman Show. I, I watched a train wreck right in front of my face on the damn camera. I watched it right in front of my face. From being Bobby Brown, when he, that baby was plump and had all those problems uh, especially that time when Bobby took her home uh, took her back to Boston and she her cell phone must have died out and she wanted to talk to her mother and she wanted to talk to her right now I mean I, I'm just looking at all of this that unfolded right before my very eyes like a badass uh, Truman show but my prayer goes out to all of y'all you know and let just let the will, let her go and be with the ancestors. Now, I know y'all have turned her off everything, and so that part is done. So, you know, you're just waiting on her to cross over where she's supposed to be. Now, to y'all Browns that's done got kicked out the damn facility. <laughs> y'all, y'all are trifling. I think that's a word y'all understand. Y'all damn near like Nick. I mean, I don't know who's or he's an opportunist and you, you opportunist and so are you. Except I believe hashtag that he's a murderer. 
as well. And I'm not so sure that he didn't do Whitney in. Because, you know, the liar will steal and a thief will murder. So you've already lied about you giving them both CPR. No, that was both proven to be a lie. So um, I don't know. You know what? He might have did Whitney in as well. You know, I, this whole thing is such a tragedy. It is such a tragedy. Ah, um, and I had to get it out because I didn't plan on making a comment about this. I just can't believe Nick Gordon. And when I saw him on that reality show, I just knew it. Especially when Uncle Ray said, oh, this guy seemed like he wanted money. You Y'all knew what was going on. Pat had to get a restraining order on. And you know, my daughter was born March 3rd. And I know how much these little Pisces can be such dreamers and just fantasize about romance and being in love. And I think that's what happened to Chris. And she ignored his violent past or his, um, because he had pulled his gun out on a couple of their friends already. That's what he had that mugshot for, the one they keep circulating. This guy is a complete asshole. And then for the mother, lastly... I got to mention her. How in the hell are you gonna let your son go and live with Whitney? Whitney must have really been bad off. And you seem to me as if you sick your son on her. And if you didn't, how can you justify he's too messed up to live with you? But I know everybody talking about Whitney and her behavior in Atlanta and how she can be seen anywhere. But you would let your son, who's uncontrollable, who's a drug user, who you know has got issues. That's why you kicked him out. And you comfortable with him living with Whitney Houston? How much money did you did he give you when he started siphoning it out of uh, Chrissy's account? That's a whole different dynamic that I'm uncomfortable with, too. You kick him out. He goes to live with Whitney. Both of them end up dead. And now he's back with you. But you kicked him out in the first place because he was crazy. The, the fuckery in the plot gets thicker by the minute. I'm going to be back as soon as I find some some out some more information because I can't keep this in no more. I can't take it. I cannot believe that Whitney's only daughter is killed in some damn water just like Whitney was killed in the water. I cannot believe this. And I wish Bobby Chris make your transition. Go be with the ancestors. Is that what you're supposed to do? Don't hold on unnecessarily. Because I want you to have a quality of life. I want you to be alive. I want you to be Bobby Chris. And I don't think that that has any chance of happening anymore. Because once you make that transition, that Nick Gordon fucker, who has a new girlfriend I heard and got pictures and, you know, he's in a hot tub. and um, So they can go ahead and hurry up and charge him with murder so I can relax. Because, I, you know, I can't take him. I can't take that the friend of theirs came up dead with a heroin overdose. I can't take that their friend Lomas um, said, wait a minute, let me lawyer up. And um, if you allow me to speak with uh, uh, impunity, I'll tell you whatever you want to know. Because Nick was cleaning up blood. Uh, uh, um, there's just too much going on. And I'll be glad when they scoop Nick ass up. Yeah. Make it happen. Okay? All right. I'm so glad y'all allowed me to get that off my chest today. If you have any comments, you know, leave them below. Thanks for listening. Have a great day.